everybody and welcome back to Shadow Runner Gaming. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Today we're going to pick up exactly where we left off yesterday. It was a long hard road to get to Hogwarts Castle but we done it and today we're going to find out what house we're going to be sorted in. I am so pumped about that one. If you watched yesterday's video you'll notice that there's something really weird something really fishy going on something very eerie going on around here and hopefully as we progress through the story we're gonna unravel that mystery real quick but without further ado thanks for tuning in leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you like what you see for all future hogwarts legacy content without further ado let's get it started Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, oh, oh no. Headmaster ain't looking so happy. Phineas Nigellus Black. Oh, he's a black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Mm, mm, mm. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Hmm. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Lovely. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Well, ladies and gentlemen... Here we go. Looks like we're about to be sorted. What the? It's Harry Professor fucking Weasley. Potter. We've one more to be sorted. Yeah, right. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Uh oh. Here we go. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. Which one do I choose? Okay, so apparently, guys, this deter so whatever you respond to determines what happens on your path. So can't wait to explore can't wait to start classes I can't wait to start classes I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts indeed Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student and what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well mm. I wonder I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? Hmm, this so reminds me of a Star Wars. <laughs> the sorting head is like Palpatine right now. Use the dark side, young Skywalker. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do you detect in me? Uh, um... I want to say curiosity. Yes, curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mm. 
Oh no. You're clever. Indeed. That sounds like Ravenclaw. You have the ability to reflect. Ravenclaw accepts the intelligent. Puzzles others. Uh oh. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Oh no. Uh um known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Uh okay, guys. I don't really want to be in Ravenclaw. Uh okay. I guess Ravenclaw it is. I could choose a different one, but for the purposes of the game, I'm going to go with the one that the hat sorted me to. So, Ravenclaw it is. You belong in Ravenclaw. All right. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Are oh, you dick? Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. God, this guy you reminds me of my high school principal. On your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Hmm. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. Oh, she's a Weasley. And Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Guys, just for saying, context, I'll take I'm you in a Professor moment. I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Let's do it. I want to see what the Ravenclaw, the Ravenclaw common room looks like anyway. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't hmm. be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. I say a poltergeist. A non-being can never have been. Hmm. Smart. My character's smarter well, than I am. Now, go on in and get some sleep. That ain't saying you much. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Look at that beautiful view of the castle. My goodness. Well, like just for context, let's head to the common room. This game takes place about mm, a century before the uh, the events of the Harry Potter series. So for there to be Black Weasley, I'm pretty sure we're going to run into some very well-known characters with some very well-known last names. I'm pretty sure there's some ancestral history here. I'm just so pumped to travel around here in Hogwarts and just discover new things. Ugh. But whenever something big happens, I'm, I'm just going to explore right now and... Uh, I'll get back with you guys whenever, I don't know, maybe whenever I go to a class or if something big happens. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Excuse me, sir. One moment. Watch this. Oh, he's a prankster. No way. What is this? Someone threw a dumb box. <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh, well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. Mm. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. Mm. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. It's because I belong in Slytherin. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Um... I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably mm. best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Funny little... Aren't you? <clears throat> Hello? Hmm, let's see here. Samantha Dale. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Great googly moogly. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seed Sorry. from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Hmm. You have no idea. <laughs> uh, I'd say he's quite knowledgeable, Samantha. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Hmm. Mm. Do I really want to? No, not right now. I'll ask her later. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. <clears throat> Who's next? Introduce yourself to Emmett. There's Emmett. Deep breath. Oi! You! Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm oh, he's an astrologer. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I've never been one for stargazing. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. <clears throat> Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Hey there. All hey, right. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. 
she would best not keep her waiting. Is she now? All right, Professor Weasley. Let's go see what Professor Weasley wants. There she is. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've I been am. dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Hmm. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Mm. Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay, whoa. Here you are. Oh, buddy. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Hmm. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. All right. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right. Let's do it. This way. Oh, man, the guys. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Will they now? You know... I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you're old then? Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? No problem. And see what details the field guide can provide. Okay. <clears throat> One at the ready. Revelio. Revelio. Ooh. Hey, get out of my way. I'm working here. Hmm, Ravenclaw bust. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw house resides in the lofty Ravenclaw tower. Okay. Just unlock the field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. All right. And I got some experience points with that one. All right, let's open up the field guide. This ought to be interesting. This is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. So there's a leveling system on here? <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got here. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Field guide pages. So combat, room of requirement. Anybody that knows Harry Potter knows about the room of requirement. Um, let's see. Hogwarts Regalia Spectacles. Oh. Alright. So you earn rewards such as cosmetics. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Alright. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. All right. My first class. I'm all for it. What is this? Um, okay. We'll, 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 we'll come back to that. I don't know what that is, but we'll come back to it. Believe me, I will take a day out to explore. Best believe that. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. 
No this way. This guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. The flu flames. Dude, if y'all don't remember what flu flames are, if you watch the Chamber of Secrets, whenever Harry uh, wound up going to the Weasleys, they used flu flames in order to get from their house to Diagon Alley. If you remember Harry standing there in the fireplace and he throws the dust down and goes diagonally and he just, yeah, okay, okay, so basically it's a fast travel. That's awesome that they put this in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a nerd. I, I, I love stuff like this. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the great hall. All right, that's a nice layout. So I need to choose the grand staircase. So select. Uh, in this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames that you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. All right, nice, nice. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, the library, and the greenhouses. All right. Select the library annex region. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use the right stick to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flames by using, okay. So we're gonna go to the central hall. Fast travel, nice. I won't, probably won't be doing too much of that unless I got to. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Hmm. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. All right. Hmm. Thank you, Professor. Appreciate that. I cannot wait to get to my first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor <clears throat> Fink succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Is that right? Um, wait a minute here. Should I really tell her? Um, she's basically asking me what happened with me and Professor Fig on our way to the castle. Fig specifically asked me not to tell them anything. So, I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be <clears throat> valuable to you. 
and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. <clears throat> Hello, Professor. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? You sure did. You sure did. I didn't tell her a thing. But I didn't like lying to her either. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will <clears> lead. <throat> it may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, <laughs> why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Let's take a look, see then. Ooh. This represents main quest, complete a main quest, will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Okay. What do you have in store for me, Professor? Let's see. Some of the quests are locked. Okay, they're locked by spell or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be required, have the required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or quest rewards. Ooh, Levioso! And what would be the other one? Accio! Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go to Levioso. That might come in handy. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day <clears throat> ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. That You'll would enjoy be nice. Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. Ooh, I shall reach out oh, when I have more information boy. about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Mm -hmm. Attend the defense against the Dark Arts class. Oh, yes. So, cast Charm Compass. Alright, so it gives me a feel. Oh, I see. I see. So. The field guide is also a map that leads you to where you need to go. So, in retrospect of the movies, basically, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. <laughs> if you know, you know. Alright, time to get to class. Sorry guys, no time to talk, gotta go. I've gotta go learn a new spell. Avada Kedavra! Or, <clears throat> sorry, I meant, um, Levioso. No time to see the scene right here. I'm ready to get to class. Alright, here we go. Let's begin! Oh, man. So, if you guys are liking the video so far, leave a like down below and comment what you'd like to see next. Ooh, get him! This is my kind of class. Is that all you've got? Uh-oh! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces Ooh. in your own time. That was close. 
I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Correct, I was. Knowledge. Cap, stop cap. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprise <laughs> opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Well, that's one way to shoot him up. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Simplicity. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Okay. Steady your wand with L and go. Okay, so we did this whenever we learned the uh, the uh, Lumos spell. So this is pretty forthcoming. Got it. Levioso. Levioso. I thought now, it was Levioso. Let's try something a little larger. Oh well. Ooh, a test dummy. I want to get in a real duel though. But. You gotta crawl before you can walk. Let us begin with a basic cast. All right. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Bring Levioso. Good. Now, well done. Take that, dummy. I won. Good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. Oh, we'll start with you two. Duelist, take oh, your hell mask. yeah! Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso. Now, this is what I like. Protego. You may begin. Okay, so no funny business. So, no Avada Kedavra? Okay, duly noted. This should be easy. Protego. Take that, idiot. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. If I need all of my students for this. Try again. Let me also. Goodbye. I do enjoy a lively duel. Ha! I won. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Subtle. Very subtle. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Well, thank Points you, Professor. To Ravenclaw. Thank <laughs> you, Professor. Ed. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. Racking up them points. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. Do you know? They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Yes, ma'am. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, I'd say Professor. so. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. But I just beat him in a duel. Why would I need pointers from him? All right. That's enough spectacle for Wait, one day. Wait, wasn't he a Class Slytherin? Dismissed. Wait a minute. Was he a Slytherin? Nice work. He is a Slytherin. Okay. I think I might have met my new best friend. How's it going, buddy? I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. <clears throat> Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Don't want to pack my own back. A new student to be but so I'm going deft to. With a wand. Then again, 
Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, no, absolutely not. I've had my share. <laughs> Believe it. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. <laughs> Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Mm. Sounds to me like you have an underground dueling. <laughs> Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's mm. joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. You Thank you, my interest. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. I assure you Look it was skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Mm, I just might do that, Till but for now... <clears throat> okay, I need to start acting like a Ravenclaw because apparently, as you could tell, I'm more of a Slytherin. Very boastful. Very daring. But for now, I have another class to get to. So... I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Okay. Where do we go from here? Up the stairs and through the walls. So, charms class? Yes, charms class. Okay. I wonder what charm I'm going to learn today. Oh, yeah. Accio! Or, in my opinion, the come to me spell. Uh oh, I lost track. Oh, okay, back upstairs. Whoa! Hello! Hmm, that was weird. But, if you know Hogwarts, you know that's not really so weird. That's actually common. Oh, God, there's a lot of stairs. I'm a fat kid. I hate stairs. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. A Some of us don't necessarily want him out. to get back to the lesson. You wonder he doesn't have any friends. I promise uh, you, more teachers nod at you if you're holding a stack of books. I swear it's true. The only place uh, I'm able to concentrate is in the library. Hey, hey it's, it's Samantha. Exciting, okay. Hey, watch it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to hit begin. <laughs> Stupid me. Here we go, guys. Charms class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. She sounds Ugandan. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Think of the Black Panther. She sounds Ugandan. Shall I could be we wrong. Begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? No idea. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. Dick. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Hmm. No. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides hey, of the I'll classroom. Die, Samantha. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and 
take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Let's do it. Akio. All right, we already know how this song and dance goes. Akio. Ooh. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough Aye. of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Oh, no. After me. Oh, no. This never goes well. Remember what happened when Hagrid took the kids outside? Remember? I think it was the Prisoner of Azkaban with the hippogriffs. And Malfoy got beat up by the hippogriff. Yeah, go back and watch the movie. What I'm trying to say is it's never good whenever professors take people outside. It never goes well. But, who knows. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? To put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Did he just use repair? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but all right. What am I supposed to be doing here? Very simply, the summoning Akio charm on one of the spheres Akio and relinquish course. your charm at the last possible moment. Okay, now, so uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes. Okay. Now, I could keep um, talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, <clears throat> Professor. Show us how it's done. Reverse marbles, basically. Summoning Charm Accio pulls a target closer to the caster. Hold R2 and press the assigned button to cast Accio and pull a target closer. Release to cease the casting split. Okay. This, I might completely fail this, but all right, let's do it. Accio. Accio. Bro, whoa, stop. Stop, stop. Okay. Got it. Now for number two. Place a target. Accio. Excellent control. Stop! Not oh. Okay. I gotta get used to that. So I need to release it right before it goes. Okay. Got it. Accio. Right That's about it. there. Ha! Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss uh -huh. Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Ooh. Come on up. Okay. You'll be the uh, blues just as before, and Miss Onai, okay. you are playing red. All right. Clear? I think I see how yes, this sir. is going. Watch the... Oh. That is how it's done. Okay. She got 30. Let's see if I can beat that. Excuse me. Um. Akio. Ha! I got 50. Very good. Let us see this. You better not. Okay. I thought she was about to pull mine off. You know what? That good. That does give me an idea, though. That does give me an idea. Let me see if I can do this. Let's see if I can knock hers off. Akio. Oh no! 
<laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Well done. This up. All right. Oh, I gotta do something about the hat. Akio. Akio. Let's see if I can knock one of hers off. Did I? Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh, yes. Love it. Hey. That's not cheating. It's Let part of the game. A bit I more guess. Interesting, shall we? What did you do? Oh, <laughs> you cheeky dick waffle. Interesting at this point. I'll say. Okay. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Okay, 30. All right. Nice, nah, my go. Uh, I gotta time this just right. Akio. Got it. Hey. Patience. Excellent control there. Your turn, Miss Onai. Okay, 60 to 50. All right, I got you. I got you. And Akio. No, no, no. Oh. Happens to the best of us. Okay, I still got a chance here. All right, if I can get this one to 50. I win. Just gotta aim it just right and Akio. Oh, I did it. Oh, I beat her. Hey, I'm the Summoner Court's winner. Nice. Very good, both of you. Well done. I smart. I did it. I did it. I'm not gonna boast about it though. Usually I would. I'd be like, ha, in your face. But you know, she seems pretty cool. So, <sighs> I'll be nice. I promise. I won't boast my achievements. But I did beat her. Passes dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Hmm. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before <coughs> I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway Ooh, around the world I was right. at a new school I in was a right. new country. I told you I thought she was Ugandan. Hmm. How big... <coughs> Excuse me. How big is Wagadu? No, is the magic the same at Wagadu? That's what I want to know. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. That's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. You know who else can use magic without a wand? You guessed it. Voldemort. But we're not going to go there. Uh, For right now, thank you. Appreciate it. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. 
But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. All Until right. next time. Of course, you can a use words, if you would. Humans, if you're so You wanted <clears throat> to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? It well, did. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. So now, quest complete. Charms class. All right. 260 experience points. Gotta love it. So where do I go now? Hmm, I'm not currently tracking anything. Okay. Let's see what the map says. Side quests are now available. Okay. Let's see, what can I do? Astronomy wing. The grand staircase. Yeah, let's go there. Trophy room. No. Grand staircase. Ravenclaw tower. Ravenclaw common room. All right. Hmm. Guys, this is wrapping up to be one heck of a freaking first day of Hogwarts. I love it. So, yet again, if you like what you see so far, leave a comment down below. Like the video because it helps the channel out a lot. And it's free. Does it cost you a dime? And consider leaving, you know, a subscription. If you want to be generous that helps out as well it's not expected but I will ask because you know how YouTube works if you don't try becoming one okay new quest available let's see what we got here um quests what do we have here Weasley after class required level 2 I believe I am level 2 now so let's get that going and I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. God, I love saying that. Wait, where am I supposed to go here? So it's back this way. Yes, okay, there it is. <clears throat> Time to go see Professor Weasley. Oh God. The long staircase again. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. I hate stairs. I'm a fat kid. I hate stairs. I'm a fat kid. I love donuts. Oh, actually, no, I don't. In fact, I will go as far as saying I really don't like sweets in general. They hurt my teeth. But I'm a fat kid. I hate stairs. I hate stairs. I'm a fat kid. I hate stairs. <laughs> God, I need a stair master. Okay, looks like we're outside the common room. Okay, another tower. Nice. I love the aesthetics <clears throat> and the layout of the castle. I mean, it looks I, almost identical to what you would expect from the movies. So I love that aspect. It does, however, give a new twist on the story. But you got to remember, this is like a hundred years or maybe a little less before the events of Harry Potter. So the castle naturally would look a little different, wouldn't you say? Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. I have... Wait a... Hold on, I want to try something. I need to try something here. Oh. Accio. Hey! It worked. Uh, I'll come back to that. I'm supposed to go okay here that's good to know so Accio isn't just for dueling apparently I should have known that oh 
Professor Weasley. Where are you? There we are. <clears throat> what Hello, about professor? the room, Professor? I Ooh. was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. I was about to say there's Dobby, but that's oh, not Dobby. Uh, excuse, Deke. Huh. Sure acts ah, like Dobby. There you are. Gotta love house elves. I trust your first classes went well? They sure did. did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Oh, no, not this again. Mm. <clears throat> I can already tell where this is going. I'm just going to act like I don't... Okay. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? Right. And Lumos? Right. That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. All right. Yeah, Professor Ronan did mention that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm... How about Natty? I don't really know Sebastian besides the fact <laughs> that I clapped them cheeks in a duel, but mm. let's try Natty. She seems pretty pretty cool. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as you read this right here, uh, on the next video, I'm guessing we're going to be going to Hogsmeade, which is very, very cool because I want to see what Hogsmeade looked like a hundred years before the events of Harry Potter. Hmm? But until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Just remember to keep it real, keep it chill, and remember to tell somebody you love them. Because you might not have the chance to do it tomorrow. Shadow Runner, peace.